Swimming off Lady Elliot Island on the southern Great Barrier Reef, the turtles appear happy and healthy. But it's what's on the inside that has researchers worried. No one's looked at um, using live turtle samples to, to see how much plastic they've ingested because previously we've only been able to look at dead turtles. They're taking blood, tissue and shell samples before releasing them back into the wild. A complete game changer because now we can look at the population as a whole as opposed to just those sick and dead ones that are washing up. Studies on deceased turtles will also show whether the 2018 ban on single-use plastic bags has reduced the amount of plastic being ingested. Early indications are positive. We haven't found as much plastic as people would assume. So within the um, 16 that we've done so far, only two of them um, have had plastic in them. We have this historical data set that we can go back at and look at what was it like before legislation came into place and now as we're going forward we can actually compare that with you know post post legislation but there are fears reusable bags now offered by retailers could be causing more harm that means that it's just been swapped out. It hasn't fixed the problem. A ban on other single-use plastics like straws and cutlery came into effect earlier this month. The Queensland government hopes that will reduce plastic pollution by 20% over the next two years. But researchers say it could take a decade to see whether the bans are working. Johanna Marie, ABC News, Bundaberg.